was reflecting on this today, uh, Brother Junaid, and I'm, I'm really been having, uh, alhamdulillah, personally, a, a very tough day uh, after what happened to our Muslim brothers and sisters in Aleppo. You know, it's very, very sad. Uh, Subhanallah, the, the amount of videos, the amount of information that, you know, I've been exposed to since yesterday. It's, very heartbreaking and it, it's really hard you know to pick it up and you know I've been I've been trying the whole day but subhanallah just right before coming out here I came across this hadith for Sahih Imam Muslim that initially the Dajjal will head towards Mecca and Medina to try to defeat Islam there in those two cities and then the angels will prevent him and they will direct him towards where towards the sham that area so imagine the greatest fitna earth will ever experience will die in a sham if a sham ended the greatest fitna and when we say sham we talk about syria palestine but will end the greatest fitna earth will ever face. Inshallah, Isham will take care of this. So, you know, that I found some hope there, you know. But where? In studying the hadith from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So certainly, when you study these signs, you find hope. Hope in the midst of a lot of despair. There is a plot against Syria by the entire world. There is a plot out there <coughs> to defeat Islam there. And when I say Islam, the true Islam, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, the Quran and the Sunnah, there is orchestrated plan to send a message to the Sunni Muslims to be psychologically defeated. We're going to defeat Islam. Why? Do you, do you not know why? No. Because Syria, this particular place, if you read the Ahadith, will mark the ultimate victory of Islam in the future. And I'm talking about a battle the West referred to by Armageddon. Of course, we don't have that name in our Sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ never used that name, but he used Maqtala Azimah, a fierce killing, Malhama. That's the, the word that is used. That is when the army of the believers, of the Muslims, will defeat the army of the West in that same place. And, and this is where I say, وَيَمْكُرُونَ وَيَمْكُرُ اللَّهِ They do their plots. And Allah will do his planning as well. Quite frankly, for a lot of us, there is nothing we can do but dua. But don't forget the arrows of the night. This is a special time. Okay. Brothers and sisters, can't you, for the sake of Allah, tonight, tonight, the last third of the night, wake up for your brothers in Aleppo and make dua for them. Can't you do that? For them tonight, make wudu and, and make dua for them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieves them from what they are going through.